Uh, I'm I'm Luna. I I'm a game engine and game developer who well decided to write a VTuber uh, 2D bottle format thing, and now I'm using it. And Lena is using it. And, oh god, everyone is well, not everyone, but a bunch of people running my software, and I'm hoping it doesn't crash. <laughs> it is certainly uh, getting a bit more attention. I know that. Well, a year ago, I think Ren talked about it on his channel, and then you've been slowly working on it, improving on it, and I've recently started hearing about it recently, and it seems like it's gotten into a a much much better state than it was, at least. Yeah. <laughs> uh, basically, what happened is when uh, Lena was like like a week, like two weeks away from debut, we uh, basically just speed ran g- getting it ready for like her debut, and I rigged her model in a week while very sleep deprived. I, I can't that imagine that. Is it? Yeah, well, you're here now, so look, it's it's clearly not all apart at this point. <laughs> so, it's, it's, it's improving. Mm. Yeah, like, like we didn't have physics uh, when I debuted, so like my hair was like made of plastic. Oh, well. <laughs> um, but uh, but now now it's pretty good, you know. I guess that's the problem with what would you call it? Alpha software, beta software? Where where yeah. would you put it Weird. right now? Weird. Uh, currently, we're working on beta 0.7.2 of the spe- specification and of Notch Creator 0.7.3. Awesome. So. Well, um, before we get into any of the individual stuff that both of you are doing, um, why don't we talk about why you're both here together? Because uh, I tried to plan both of you separately, <laughs> and you both wanted to do the podcast together. Well, uh, Lena has helped out a lot with you know, Shadi. Like she helped me doing the jam. That was like the week long jam where we prepared for a debut, and also she supported the project a lot throughout the time. So he's basically the first person to use the specification. That's awesome. <laughs> well, besides and... besides me, I guess. Mm, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I mean, but that's basically the reason that I'm here, right? Um, because uh, I I wanted to do the you know the VTuber thing, but. Um, there was no um, open source software, and then I sort of ran into Luna and Luna Studio, and and that's what really inspired me to uh, you know to do it like this and to uh, really go for it. So yeah. Was that before? No, I guess it would have been after Ewan started doing his three D stuff, but there wasn't anything on the two D side. Yeah, so there, I was actually thinking of doing it on the three uh, D uh, mm. side, but you know I wasn't um, too sure, and uh, he liked the. Uh, Look of 2D models yeah, more, yeah. but you know, you don't want to use Live 2D because that's a Windows thing, and yeah. I, I isn't um, there like ways you can get it working through Wine? But even so, if there's something that's going to be open source, you'd probably prefer to use that instead. Yeah, and there's like weird uh, licensing issues with it too, yeah, and, yeah. and like rules around the models, and it, it doesn't give you a good vibe, really. Yeah, no, that's totally fair. That comes a bit into why I actually started developing in Arch 2D. Mm. <laughs> But yeah. Um, well, we can uh, talk about that then, because uh, I did hear the story <laughs> about like where it came from on Twitter. But uh, how about you just let people know how how you initially came up with the idea? Uh, okay, so I was working on a game plus a game engine, a uh, uh, Lispian Fox Girl Mahjong visual novel game, and uh, I wanted to animate the characters. And I looked at Life City's licensing. It was like. This is kind of bullshit. So then I started making my own thing because uh, I have a very bad case of not invented here syndrome. Uh, and yeah, then, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> then I uh, later decided to take it out of the engine. And then I saw that the fact that like, uh, uh, oh god, what's what was the program called again? Uh, like the thing people used it for, like VC Face and B Tube Studio. Ah, and. Um, the one that had like the dog uh, avatar bundled with it. Oh god! I hope well, you're asking me. Uh, that, I don't have an answer for you. I I I don't remember what the application was called, but like the com- it was bought up by another company or something, mm. and suddenly they were switching like to a um, subscription model yep. for it. And it was like, this is kind of trash. Maybe there shouldn't be like two monopolies for me too big. <laughs> and then I decided to basically spin it out to be like a full thing and stuff, just like a subsystem in my game engine. Yep. Well, I, I can clearly see this, like, it, it's working in a, there's a, enough of a state where you can actually use it to do VTube, but, like, where do you, where, like, where would you consider the, I guess, the state of it to be right now? 
Uh, like it is at like slightly past the minimal viable product. Mm -hmm. So we have a few more node types we want to add and a little bit of optimization to the spec itself. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, the specification is actually mostly done. And then it's just all the tooling that needs to be made not terrible. <laughs> Well, Lena, uh, how do you feel about the state it's in right now? Because you're, uh, I guess, the prime case of using it. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I guess it's at the state where, like, you know, if you're a technical person and you can write, like, simple code, yeah. um, then you can use it. Because, like, the, 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 the sort of, there's no player app, so to speak. So I literally just have, like, a, you know, a small script that um, maps the um, tracking parameters into the model. So there's no, like, UI for configuring, for running it, right? Right. Um, so that's in the works. I am working um, on so it. I, I can see why you said minimal viable product. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, that's, uh, Lena's working on that. And then as far as the editor, um, it's a bit awkward. Um, I mean, it's really good, like, if you think about it from the perspective that she wrote it from scratch and that, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a lot of things going on for, uh, bringing it to the model. It's actually really good. Um, but there's a lot of weird words and things that, you know, don't make sense and uh, a few big missing features that would make a uh, rigorous life a lot easier. Um, so, you know, it's usable, but uh, like, I, I feel a bit bad for some people using it, you know, because it's, it's, there's so much, it could be so much better too, right? It's, you know, yeah, yeah. it's already great, but it could be so much better, that kind of, that kind of deal. There's a reason why when you open up Creator, a giant red text says, this is beta software. <laughs> At least when you're open for the first time. Well, at least it's uh, it, it's clear the state that it's in then. Like, it's not just like, hey, I'm going to have this this product here. I'm not going to even acknowledge the state that it's in, but hey, if you want to try it, well, go ahead. I don't know yeah, what it's going to do. that's more or less. Uh, I just want people to save often, and that it's probably going to crash a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also that a lot of features are missing and stuff, but yeah. At least I added control S. Because <laughs> <laughs> it didn't have that before. <laughs> Well, that's because the uh, GUI shortcut management is kind of like really annoying to deal with, mm -hmm. so I haven't done much of it. Uh, it's well, Lena has improved that, and I am working on more stuff on improvement of on the UI side. So, like after 0.7.3, mm -hmm. not creator, 0.7.4 will just be focused on like making the UI better, especially yep. since the undo system is like half implemented. So there's some things you can undo yeah. and some things you can't. <laughs> Broken right now. Uh, right. That's the thing, right? It's like we've talked about uh, a lot of features and now they should be implemented, but you know, there's, there's only so much time. So, yeah, of uh, course. Especially now that I'm busy with other stuff. So, yeah.